Hey everyone, it's Matt. Um, today I wanted to make a video about the Ross gouging machine and how to set it up. Uh, as you can see, this does not have a blade in it. I have a nice sharp blade I'm about to put in, but first I want to make sure that the guide or the carriage and the bed are perfectly in line. Um, with a single radius gouger like this, you want the the guide and the and the bed to be pretty much exactly sandwiched. And one really cool feature of the Ross gouging machine is that the curvature of the guide and the curvature of the bed fit perfectly within one another. And that makes it really easy to check the centering. All you need is some Allen wrenches and some uh, cigarette paper. Tear off a little piece of cigarette paper and we can get going. Now, to do this, we want to let the guide fall all the way into the bed. Now, with this roller plate on here, that won't be possible, so we have to take that off. So let me just get at it here. Oops, that's the wrong one. Just pop it off. And that will allow the carriage to fall down far enough. And whenever you take this off, I recommend checking, whenever you take anything off your gouger, check and make sure it's clean because little bits of cane and dust and oil can get all under there. You can see there's some oil, which I put there last time. And otherwise it looks pretty clean. I don't know if you can see that in the light here. Um, looks pretty clean though. So I'll give that a wipe, get off that old oil, and give this a wipe. And now if we move our cane clips out of the way, our carriage falls all the way down into the bed. You can see there, it's sat right down curve to curve. Now, the way we check this, and sometimes I'll take the clips off just for ease, but it's not necessary. You just gotta kinda hold them off to the side. The way we check this is we check the four corners uh, to see that it matches. So I'm just lift it up, and also you wanna make sure there's no dust or cane on either surface because then it won't match properly. So you just lift it up. Put I'm putting my uh, paper kind of where the back corner of the guide will be, and gently drop it in, and that is tight. I'm pulling there, and that is tight, okay? So this back left corner is good. I'll check the back right corner, and again, I'm just slipping my paper under there, drop it down, back left corner is good, okay? Do the same thing with the front, drop it in, tight and tight. Good. So if that was not in good shape, what do you do? Well, I'm probably not going to do it right now because if I've learned one thing about gouging machines, it's if they're working, don't mess with them. Um, but what you do is you turn the gouger over. You can see I had glued something on here before and just ripped it off. But um, you undo these two bolts or screws or whatever they are, and that allows the bed to move freely. It allows the bed to move this way, this way, this way, um, and then you can kind of just center it by feel, move the clips, drop the carriage in, and what you do is with these loose, with these bottom screws loose, grip very tightly to match the carriage and the bed, or the guide and the bed, and then retighten those screws. And that theoretically matches those two curves perfectly in a straight line. Um, sometimes it takes a few tries. Sometimes you'll test it and you'll say, okay, this corner is good, this corner is good, so the bed must be a little bit diagonal, I'll do it again. 
And you just keep doing that until you do your test and all four corners are good. Uh, it's really pretty simple. It is not, um, it's not super difficult. But honestly, the hardest thing about it is gripping this tightly so that when you move the screws or when you tighten the screws, things don't wobble. Um, just a word of caution, when you are tightening screws on anything, but particularly a nice fine tool like this, don't over tighten them. I've made that mistake before and been um, very sad that I did. Um, just tighten them till they're uh, secure. Don't crank on them. Don't try to prove how strong you are. Um, the last step here is to just put our roller plate back on. Um, you might wonder, well, which side do I put where? See these little circles? That little circle right there and that little circle right there? Those are from the pins that hold the clips in place. So that side goes towards the bed. Brush it off, brush it off. And I just put, I don't quite know why Dan Ross did this, so I do it. Just put a little bit of oil on the surface of the, uh, where, the where the roller plate and the bed will meet. Clean it off, make sure that's nice and dirt free, set it back down, and then all you do is pop your screw back in, kind of get it in place, and I like to get that oil out of there. When I do this, I like to just kind of press down here and here, um, and then just oop, tighten it. And we're good to go. Now, we know that our guide and our bed are aligned. And again, that's key for this type of gouging machine. Um, now, the next step is to put a blade in. I'll make a separate video about that. Um, centering the blade is a little bit more... Uh, it's not tricky. It's not complicated. But it takes a little bit more uh, eye for symmetry and attention to detail. But this is how to align the bed on your Ross machine. Again, you know, I do this every time I, I put a new blade in, which for my amount of use is maybe once every nine months, maybe once every year, whenever it gets dull. Um, yeah, that's about it. Um, let me know if you have any questions or want to see me actually do it. Again, I didn't want to do that today because this is, you know, a very fine tool and it's a goucher that I use and depend on so I didn't want to mess it up too badly if I didn't have to so I uh, hope that helps bye